Hi, Nicoleta Fotiade here from Bucharest, Romania. I'm a media literacy educator and researcher and uh, I want to thank Kavi for giving me the opportunity to say a few words about uh, future of, of what I think about the future of media literacy in Europe. Um, so sorry I couldn't join you at the conference in, uh, in Helsinki. Um, so, big questions. What are the most important ways to achieve media literacy in the future Europe? And what kind of decisions are required? Well, I think uh, this depends very much on what sort of media literacy we aim at. Uh, and I give you this example. Uh, only a few months ago, a Romanian MP proposed a draft law to include media education in the main curriculum as a separate subject. Um, it, it is the first ever um, a draft law in Romania, so you can imagine uh, the joy in our community of media educators. Uh, only that the draft law is poorly researched and written in terms of uh, learning objectives. Uh, the focus is on fake news, of course, uh, and how to protect our children against it, against fake news. Uh, it is intended only for the sixth and ninth grade. We don't really know how uh, this decision was made, on what grounds. And, and it uh, being uh, proposed as a separate subject, it suffocates very much an already jammed curriculum. So, uh, just to mention a few of its, of its flaws. Um, the draft law has been criticized and its initiators had no real debate with us, the professionals in the media education field. Uh, so the question is, what do you do in this situation? Uh, you support the initiative because even if faulty, it is the only one. Um, and how does a faulty uh, start affect uh, the future of media education in our country? So, difficult question there. Um, I see this trend among policymakers and funding bodies to support small projects with poor learning results and uh, no evaluation of the learning. And I see uh, less support for more academic long-term programs that could allow evaluation of the learning progress and the improvement of the teaching approach. Uh, I also see continuing interest for this uh, immediate results with tiny investment. Uh, and we, as media educators, uh, many times confirm with this, um, uh, conform with this criteria because we think it's better something than nothing. But is it enough for the future of media education? I think the key here is, are, is open-minded uh, policymakers who understand it is about education first and foremost, and then about media and communication and fake news and cyberbullying and manipulation. You know, all those, all those uh, sound bites uh, that trigger strong emotions and then policy and funding. Uh, but good education needs long-term investment. We need open-minded policymakers who understand that media education cannot be taught as a solution to a problem. It is not about the fake news in the first place. It is about education, education about media. We really, really need policymakers and funding bodies who understand that long-term media education programs focusing on critical and creative learning about media increase the chances to grow media literate students. If this is not understood and if the media literacy organizations and institutions submit to the current funding criteria to develop short-term, very specific media literacy projects without a fight, then what you see today will be reproduced on and on for the next 20 years, at least. Um, media educators need support. And the key word here is solidarity. They need support to contribute to relevant media education programs that produce relevant media literacy. What does that mean, the word relevant? Um, it means more chances for, for the students to actually use what they have learned in the classroom in real life situations. 
media education programs can happen in both formal and informal education at all stages, including adult education. And yes, this costs money, time and energy. But the later costs of not having these competencies included in our kids' education will be much higher. And I think um, to go further and to, to sort of evo um, have an evolution in our media education field, we need some more strategic moves in Europe, like, for instance, the reorganization of the media literacy expert group at European level. Uh, we also need national and local authorities and funding bodies to encourage a more systematic approach to teaching media education from the earliest ages. So we need to invest in policy, in public funding of the teacher training and school education, uh, and very important but often overlooked, we need to invest in evaluation of the learning progress and its impact in the real life situations. Finally, I think um, better cooperation between stakeholders is again very important. Uh, and I understand here media educators, researchers, and public authorities. I, I, if these conditions won't happen, then I'm afraid the future of media education will be mainly limited to two-hour workshops and civil society projects with short-term results, which are good initiatives, but as I was saying, not enough. Uh, the future of media literacy in these conditions will be stranded to scarce competencies with no continuity, I'm afraid. So not a very optimistic view of the future of media literacy here. Thank you very much for your attention and good luck with the debate. Bye!